girl is recovering tonight after police say a 15-year-old accidentally shot her in the chest this afternoon. Now, authorities say he didn't mean to pull that trigger. Still, gun safety advocates say there is no excuse for a child to have access to a loaded gun. News 5's Amanda Van Allen joining us now from the Tech Center with the latest with this investigation. Amanda. Danita and Rob, such a sad story all around. We watched as the family paced up and down frantically talking to police while also comforting the 15-year-old boy. He was in the back seat of that police car screaming and crying, accused of pulling the trigger. A family torn apart. A nine-year-old girl was shot in the chest Monday afternoon, and authorities say a 15-year-old boy pulled the trigger. It all went down on East 186th Street on Cleveland's east side. Police roped off the scene for hours while they investigated. News 5 captured video of an officer examining a gun inside of the garage of the home where the shooting took place. Authorities are calling it an accident. We hear about these shootings each and every day in Ohio and across the country. Dennis Willard is a spokesperson for Ohioans for Gun Safety. Police did not reveal what led to the shooting, but Willard says when guns and children are both in the house, you must take extra safety precautions. Making sure that you're putting the gun in a safe place, that it's locked up, that you're keeping the ammunition separate from it, and, and be aware that your children most likely know where these are. So just take those extra precautions because unfortunately this happens too often. His group is also pushing for everyone who buys a gun to undergo a background check. We believe this will, you know, in, increase safety, reduce violence and save lives. Judy Martin travels around Cleveland to spread the message of gun safety after her son was senselessly killed in a carjacking. We, but we still have to keep trying. It's worth it. Our children, our family members are worth it. She says, lock it up and make sure your kids don't know the code. I have nothing against people that want to own guns, who go hunting. But if you have it, be responsible. Lock it up. The last we heard, the victim was conscious and talking. But there are still several unanswered questions tonight. Like, whose gun is this? And are there any criminal charges pending? We are still waiting to hear back from police on these details. Live tonight in the Tech Center, Amanda Van Allen, News 5.